for uh, the significant donation that you uh, made to make this soon to be revealed statue possible. And once again, a special thanks to Blair Buswell, uh, the renowned sculptor, the renowned artist, who spent over a year of, of craftsmanship on this special piece. Uh, I think it would be uh, very appropriate for us to give Blair a, a hand, a round of applause. For him. As many of you may not know, this particular piece uh, traveled about 800 miles from Pleasant Grove, Utah uh, to get here. It arrived on Wednesday uh, morning. Uh, was it Wednesday morning? Thursday morning. Thursday morning, and then we put it up on Thursday. Um, and so the, the whole issue of travel kind of uh, resonated with me. So uh, allow me to use a little travel analogy to underscore one of the many lessons taught uh, by Coach Wooden. You know, as e each of us takes a, a seat on a plane, we've all heard the instructions on what to do when the oxygen masks falls down uh, to us in the case of an emergency. And that uh, instruction is always put your mask on first. The message is crystal clear. Before you can help anyone, before you can make anyone better, before you can coach them, before you can instruct, before you can make a difference, it's best to make certain that your house is in order, that your life is in order. In other words, that you are in the best position that you can be in and that you are in fact doing things right. That was Coach's admonition for himself and by far the sing sing singular most important lesson plan that he tried to teach others around him. We could talk about Coach Wooden in terms of his victories, his bountiful championships, his quotes, his books, and the notoriety that those things brought him, or the glory and the eminence of the teams that he built program that he that he built however we all know the coach never dwelled on those things he never mentioned any of those things his emphasis was always on doing the best to become the best that you are capable of becoming no man that I have ever known has touched as many lives in such a positive manner as coach John Wooden but getting back to the plane and leading by example and figuratively speaking Putting his oxygen mask on first, Coach Witten breathed life, he breathed success to a university, to an athletic department, and to a basketball program that we will forever be thankful that he did this. He was, of course, the best that he could be, and of course, we all know that he was the best ever. Ladies and gentlemen, with this statue, everyone who steps foot on this campus from this day forward will know that this building that's standing before us, once again, will always be known as the house that wouldn't build. So at this time, I'd like to call up Nan and Jim, coach, Coach's two children, Coach Wooden and Nell, their two children, as well as today's speaker, the various speakers that were here, we'd like to have them up, and Blair Buswell, we'd like to bring you up as well for the statue unveiling. going to have everybody wrap their hands around the, the rope. Make sure the cameras see you. And on the count of three, we'll get to see this beautiful, beautiful statue of Coach Wooden that will live forever here at Poly Pavilion and on the campus of UCLA. One, two, three. Jim, don't sit down. Come on up, Jim. Jim and Nate.